So I just say you came back from work now just like I did, you booted your PC, opened Twitter, and oh boy, did you have something to see. A banger fucking tweet I made about Shroud and Ape community They started a drama with like one and a half million people. I mean, just listen to what Shroud said. I've been dabbling in just like different mouse pads and stuff. You don't want to dabble in other mouse pads. That is a no-no. That is a big no-no. Like when you buy, like for example, if you buy like a... Uh, if you buy a Logitech mouse, you use a Logitech mouse pad. If you use, if you buy a, you put this back on my bank and look at it. Um, yeah. Whatever Razer mouse, you buy a Razer mouse pad because they test for their own stuff. So if you like dabble and you want to be curious and try different stuff and try different skates, like you, yeah, you change your skates, it's GG. Your mouse sensor is gonna be wrong. It's gonna be all fucked up. Cause it's not, that's how they test them, right? They don't test them on all products. They just yeah, test them on some. Oh boy, what an idiot. What a delusional, uninformed idiot is he. But wait a second. What if I told you that you, yes, you, you're the delusional, uninformed idiot here. But before you get your feelings hurt, let me explain first. So who is Shroud? Shroud is this big boy from NA that used to compete in CS like 10 years ago. And he was pretty good at it. At least for NA scene. <laughs> He used to play and stream PUBG when it came out and arguably that's the main reason why so many people got to know him outside of CS but that's generally all I have to say about him because if you don't know who Shroud is then I don't know man, you've been living under the rock. He's not wrong about the statement he made, he's just not right to the extent that matters. But to understand why, first you need to understand these two things. First, where is he coming from and why he stands so strongly about his opinion. And second thing is, you need to understand how gaming mice works and what's the correlation between companies like Logitech, Razer, SteelSeries and etc. with a company called Pixel. Shroud used to roughly compete in CS between 2013 and 2017. And let's just guess that he spent 5 years in CS prior to going pro. That was like 2008. Back then, market was dominated by laser mice and optical mice, or let's say optical sensors, were a new thing back then. A optical mouse, a optical gaming mouse from 2008 is about the same level of quality and same level of performance as today's $2 mouse from Walmart. Therefore, the quality and performance of optical sensors back then was pretty bad. They were not accurate, they didn't track properly, and if you were to flick fast with them, they would do something called spinning out. What the fuck? What the <laughs> something you don't have to worry about mice these days. Why is that, Mickey? Well, let's first explain how optical sensors work so that your self-proclaimed aim got brain with lower attention spam than my fucking hamster can understand. There are two main components inside your mouse. There is sensor and there is MCU. Sensor shoots light, light bounces off a surface and MCU processes information so that it can determine what type of movement you just did with your mouse. Well, you see, back then, MCUs inside a gaming mouse were kinda um, dumb and they were not really able to accurately and fast enough process what type of movement and how much movement you did with your mouse. People back then were not using mouse pads, you had each person having a different type of a desk at home and each person would have a mouse that performs slightly differently or drastically, depends. Therefore, companies like Logitech, Razer and SteelSeries came up with a solution. What if we calibrated our mice to work on our own mouse pads? And therefore, we made it more accurate and more consistent. Aside of making it more accurate and more consistent, that also provides them a consistent data they can work with and make a claims about the performance of their mouse, without getting sued. Well, simply put, all they did was add a bit of smoothing and render delay on a MCU lab. There you go. They traded input lag for a slightly accurate sensor. Now, remember a company called Pixar that they mentioned earlier? Well, they're a company that makes 99.9% .9 of sensors and MCUs that end up in a mice like Logitech, Razer, SteelSeries, G-Wolves, Final Mouse, Endgame, yatta yatta yatta, and so on. Actually, Pixar doesn't necessarily make MCUs, they work with Nordic, but for the simplicity of this video, let's just say that they make MCUs. Well, you see, back then Pixar wasn't really a thing either. They weren't really mainstream. There was a company called Avago that was one of the first, if not the first company, to start implementing and working on optical sensors for gaming mice. And as you can guess from a story, they weren't really the best. Or at least compared to what we have today. Pixart was a much better option and therefore it didn't take a lot of time until Avago and Pixart started cross-licensing 
which allowed them to work on each other's technologies and rapidly grow and innovate in this industry. So you see, a company like Logitech designs a mouse and goes to one of these two companies and buys sensors. Logitech then goes, Hey, here are the mouse pads that we sell. Can you like fine tune it a bit for that, huh? A wagon picks up like, hell yeah, give me your fucking money and they do just that. And since the multi-billion dollar companies gave them so much money, and since they are literally depending on that, what they did was also give them an option for their gamers to manually calibrate sensors for additional accuracy. As the time goes by, sensors just became so much more advanced, so much faster, so much more accurate, so much more consistent. And therefore, a need for a calibration was, was removed. It wasn't needed anymore. If you're using a modern mouse, anything newer than let's say 2016, you're better off not messing around with calibration and just using it the way you bought it. Well, you see, companies such as Logitech still fine-tune it a little bit these days, but not for an accuracy step. See, if you ever checked a box of your mouse, you probably saw two performance stats named like 400 IPS or 40G. Well, those two stats stand for acceleration and speed. Basically stands for how fast you can move your mouse until it starts spinning out. Well, if Logitech claims those speeds, you can be 100% sure they were tested and calibrated for their own mouse pads. Why? Because marketing. And because if they fake advertise it, they could get in a lot of legal trouble. Don't forget, they are multi-billion dollar companies. They're not gonna pay a 50 bucks fine. Now, does it mean your mouse is gonna be inaccurate or slower if you used on like a, let's say, Logitech mouse on a Razer mouse pad? No, it's gonna be just fine. It's just not gonna hit one of those theoretical max whatever specs listed on the box. Might not, go might not gonna be 400 IPS, maybe it's gonna be 380. And might not be 100% accurate, but it's gonna be 99.999%. So now when you know how mice work, how sensors work, and what company made a sensor in your mouse, you should approach and look at this shroud statement in a little bit different way. He is just an old school player, and he was stuck with one brand, which is Logitech, for most of his career. Well, you see, his statement is still valid in 2024. It's just that it doesn't matter anymore. But it used to matter and be a big game changer back in 2008, 9, 10, whatever. And that was a time when some of you were not even born. Also, before I finish this video, did you notice how I haven't mentioned Zowie at all? Even though Zowie by BNQ is a company that set a foundation and defined like 90% of shapes we use today, they are also the company that dominated CS Pro scene. Like 80 to 85% of professional CS players used to play on Zowie mice. And they also used to play on them at the specific settings, which is 400 dpi and 500 Hz. Also, me as somebody who is working on his own mouse, and I also am somebody who tried like, I don't know, 200, 300 mice so far, I'm still using an OG Zawi mouse. And my own mouse, at least the model I use for myself, is using a 3310 PCB from the OG Zawi. Well, there is a really specific and interesting reason why, but that's a topic for another video. So hopefully this video cleared some things out for you guys. And if you liked it, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, you know, comment, whatever. Peace.